Hello guys, what is up? It is me, Rebel here. Bring you guys some Madden Peace TV one mode, and today, again, we have another challenge, and it is obviously the Jet Ship Wasp Challenge. A challenge that I even didn't even think I would, I would be doing for the sixth time. The last episode, I guess, featured the fifth time. Thank you guys so much for like five jet ship wasp challenges. Which first off, thank you for watching the series. Also, too, thank you for watching every single part of this channel. And if you guys do enjoy, please be sure to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe because I am willing to do something crazy. So, if you ever thought of, like, combining two challenges in one episode, well, that's what I might be doing in, like, up and coming episodes. It's, a, it's an idea. At the end of the day, it's gonna work, I hope. Try Yplex Week. That is what we're gonna use. This game is gonna go down to the wire. I'm telling you, the Chiefs. And the Chargers are our foes. On the first play, we get down to the 38-yard line. We throw a specific dime. And, and we throw an incomplete pass. So, you guys have heard about the Wildcat Falcon, the Wildcat Falcon Challenge. And we did that twice. The thing is about the challenge, and I learned about this in a test game. I was doing some gameplay. That you can use the Omaha ability. And you, like, you can use any ability, and it can still work somehow. And right there, I threw it to Hunter Renfro. So... That was my first attempt at uh, hitting the Wasp play that Tyreek Hill used. And it worked. Um, so, I'm excited. Um, let's try that out. But as I was saying, the Wildcat Falcon, like in any Wildcat play, that I have learned from using the Wildcat, like, Falcon formation in the Falcon, in the NFL Falcon base playbook, you can actually, like, for, for Omaha, now this is, like, I think overpowered if you were to do this, like, come, like, this challenge, is that you can see the defense as a wide receiver, the issue, and I'm gonna say this with the lot of the formation, is that for some reason the wide receiver is the AI when it comes to like some like it's a real issue. The AI of the receivers is so trash, like. If you ever run this formation in franchise mode, like, for rookie, I guess it could work. But, like, on pro, or any other, like, difficulty, eh. As you can see right there, we got a touchdown right off the bat with my backup wide receiver. Yes, sir. And my backups are doing pretty well, including the Chiefs. But the last time we faced them... We beat them like 50 to 35, so 36. So like we're all good. But we're, what we're not good at is me throwing at picks. You obviously know when it comes to the series or any other series, I'm going to mess up pretty badly. And somehow we're on the 18-yard line. So I guess our defense did well. So here we are. We're rolling out. I throw it to Tyrell Williams, I think. 
Yep. And with his Moss, Moss X Factor ability, which is a super overpowered, like, ability when activated. And I threw it again. Like, I just don't care. And he has, like, uh, surpassed his career milestone. And on to the next one. So my goal is not to throw an interception. And I avoided a tackle. Got uh, to, like, the 16-yard line. So next play, it's second down. I got sacked immediately. So by Frank Clark. So I did, I blocked J Josh Jacobs. So I rolled out, went upfield, did a quick slide. Um, just to avoid injury. Then I made some adjustments on the left side of the field. And like, it was really important in my opinion. So I just made some adjustments. Here's where I went, threw it to Y, I think, and it didn't work. So then I decided to just do the adjustments. I just ran with the base play. I rolled out. I avoided, like, I literally swerved, like, a mini swerve around one guy. And, um, yeah. This is what happens when you run the play every single time. You get yourself a rushing touchdown. And the drive goal was completed. So I got to say it for myself. I'm pretty happy. 21 to 17 in the second quarter. It's already like a, like a ball out game. So I threw it to Tyrell Williams once again. 43 yard line. So it's the second quarter. And I just want to at least get a field goal or something. To make it like a one possession game. Uh, apparently that wasn't a catch, and it wasn't reviewable, and you know about booth reviews, they always like to me mess something up, right there, um, that was messed up. So we had two timeouts, so I had to use them very conservatively, and logically, so here we are. Rolled out, I avoided Frank Clark, and I stiff-armed the dude. Now it's 13 seconds on the clock on the 40, 41-yard line. Then, I just keep on running that wasp play. I rolled out, he got the ball, however, he didn't get out of bounds. So, they did go for the field goal, and here we are now. Right here, that route war almost worked. And I even didn't have my Omaha ability activated, but I think that's fine. As you can see, I'm rolling out, shrugged off a tackle, almost to farm number 44 on the defense, 12 second runoff, no huddle, next play, first down and 10, rolled out, threw it to Tyro Williams, who broke off one tackle, Tyran Matthew gets injured. Now. The thing is, is that the secondary, in my opinion, I don't think it's good. Like, honestly, hmm. And I did, I threw it to Darren Waller. I was going to throw it to Tyrell Williams, but I threw it to Darren Waller. No, Zay Jones. 
Zay Jones. So on the next play, I still almost got the touchdown again, but I didn't. So then, I like threw it out of desperation. I was trying to throw it to, I think, like Darren Waller again, but for some reason, he didn't catch it. So, I again went to the one yard line. A touchdown was scored, and a field goal was scored. So, it's a 11 point difference, and yet again, um, I gave it to Tyro Williams again. And it's crazy how I'm doing this, like feeding it to a monster, to a like a god church. And yeah. Like he is a god. He he is. And I threw out a desperation once again. So that's the end of the third quarter right there. So now it's third down and eight. Um, I knew it was going to come down into wire because the Chiefs are, like, are they're 6-2 and two right now. So, they're, like, fighting for, like, a playoff berth. And, as you can see right there, they scored a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So, I'm now scared, and... Wholeheartedly, I got that pass off. Like, I've been, like, feeding, like, that route so much. Because I know that route is, like, a god-tier, like, route. It's always a god-tier route. No matter what you say, I think that's a god-tier route. But what is a god-tier route is that. My boy Tyrell Williams is in the zone with Mossed. X factor ability. And now the crazy thing is is that you have to at least target him like right there. And it was incomplete. And he lost his X factor. So if you throw a pass to him and it's incomplete, he loses his X factor. First time giving it to Josh Jacobs. He bulldozes his way in the end zone for the now it's 30, 20, now it's 30 to 31. Fourth quarter, um, three minutes, seven seconds on the clock. Um, what do we do here, my friends? Um, try to avoid getting sacked. I got sacked. So then I ran hurry up. I ran the base play. Uh, I got sacked again. That's the issue in this game. So much like you're you're constantly getting sacked on pro difficulty. And I could have thrown it to Darren uh Darren not Darren Waller, Tyra Williams. But it would have been a risk. So now it's 38 to 38, 31. One minute. 22 seconds on the clock. I'm thinking to myself, can we actually pull this off? Like, can we actually have a clean slate? And we do. We managed to pull it off somehow. I give it to Zay Jones. Like, like in the bag, like... And I run this play, which is a play action. I try a playmaker... But it's picked off. That is when this happens. Sammy Watkins. Tyree Kill, Sammy Watkins. And then um they got the touchdown. 
with 14 seconds on the clock. We have three timeouts. They have zero. What do you do in this situation? I tell you what I do. I feed it to Tyrell Williams. I feed it to Zay Jones. I feed it to one of my backup wide receivers. Now look right here. This is cover two. I know this because I ran many times. Omaha. And I threw it to, I think, like, the Wasp. Like, I put Zay Jones on a streak. And it was OT. This happened out of luck. And we win the game. Boom. Anyways, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all are a legend. Bye, book. And as for me, I will see y'all the next one. And peace.